Hey guys, welcome to another Shop Don't Stop video. Today I'm going to be replacing the cup holders on this BMW M3. So BMWs have this known issue of this generation where the cup holders will either slow down or get completely stuck. So the passenger side one, as you can see, is a little bit slow to open, but the driver's side one is completely stuck. So today we're going to be replacing those with new ones. All you're going to need for this video is a trim removal tool, and we can get started. All right, so to get started here, take one of the prying ends and be careful if you have leather or other trim around here, but you wanna pry right between here and this edge and then pop it off like that. Then work your way down a little more. Then just slowly keep prying up. And then you'll just start releasing the whole trim piece. And here you go. These are the clips that are on the back. So as you can see, they go into these four sections. So that's how you get those off. All right, so next, you're actually gonna also need a Phillips screwdriver. Um, you're just gonna remove these four screws right here, and there's two for each cup holder. So we're gonna start with this passenger side one first. And then once you get those two screws out, should pop right out like that. Then you could set this aside and get the new one that you bought. So I'm gonna take the other side off as well and then come back once uh, we got both those off to put the new ones in. All right, so I got the screws off for the driver's side one and it was a little bit tougher to pull out, but finally got it. So this one has a little more curve to it. So when you're pulling it out, just kind of angle it. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of working, but we're just gonna replace this one too. And uh, now I'm gonna go get the new cup holders and put them in. All right, so I'm gonna start with the driver's side one, test out that it's working good. And uh, the way you put it in is kind of contour it while you're placing it in there. And then it'll go into place. You just got to find the right angle. And then pops right in. Then get your two screws and put them back on. Now take your passenger one. Make sure it's opening well still. Pop it right in and then put the screws on. All right, so now that those two are in, I'm gonna test them one last time. There you go. And then take your trim removal tool that you took off in the beginning and then just line it up right here like that. Slowly just pop those pins back in. All right, and then just one last test. They both work, so we're good to go. Thanks for watching.